I mean, 25 years is a long time, but relatively speaking, we're still building, we're still building that core. And, and you feel like you have some say in where the, where the club goes, because it's not like it's been cemented for hundreds of years. To see where things have gone from the first year to now, I mean, it's night and day. We sit, Stan, huh? You believe this? Six months I've been. Well, what are we in? I'm just focused on the case. He's just you know? now seeing that I have tattoos. <laughs> Unbelievable. My first memory of Andre was, I think I might have been at the Red Bull. They were saying a young man from from Chicago is is signing, and I was like, this is interesting. So I started looking it up and seeing who you were, because listen, I I, pride, I have a lot of pride in the fire when I was gone and with other clubs, uh, I always followed the fire. So seeing the success of the fire was always huge for me. And now knowing that a guy from Chicago is actually one of the defenders is huge for me. I started working with the first team and I saw your, your jersey um, hung up in the training room. I was like, oh, okay, it's Brown, CJ Brown. Okay, who is this guy? Um, and then I heard you were coming onto the team. And obviously I didn't really, I didn't try to set any expectations because you know, just gotta keep an open mind. You never know who anybody is, but um, couldn't be with a nicer guy, which is strange because you know you're a defender, and I've heard you were pretty, pretty hard on the field. But I'm a very nice guy. <laughs> the game has changed tremendously. The skill level you have is much higher than what I had when I was a player. I was just a physical, physical player. So what is awesome for me is to now find players as skillful as you, but have the same drive and, and determination. And I think the more we keep building players like that, that have both the skill and that fight, yeah. you can't stop us. I mean, 25 years is a long time, but relatively speaking, we're still building, we're still building that core. To see where things have gone from the first year to now, I mean, it's night and day. I remember this thing coming up. This to me is, I 100% love this stadium. Like, a lot of people say, oh, it's different traveling. But you get 20,000 people in this thing and it is rocking. I remember my first ever, or at least first fire game to recollection. One of my friends who I met in some park district, he's like, oh, let's go to a fire game. I was like, oh yeah, I like soccer, like, let's do it. And we get there really early, so like, I don't really know what to expect. I'm sitting down, we grab our food, whatever. And like, as you get closer and closer to game time, more and more people start showing up. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of rowdy over here. Like, yes. once the game started, man, nobody sat down for the no. entirety of the 90 minutes. Yeah. And like, I don't know any of the chants, but I'm like out here screaming, yelling. <laughs> Um, and that's like, yeah, that was my, I want to say it was my first ever fire game. Just getting the feel, what's going on back there, how much they care about, about this team and this organization. Growing up and uh, playing in all the leagues around the city, it was always pretty gritty. So I, I learned not to, not to back down from anybody. Chicago mentality is just grind, 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 grind. My mentality came from, to be honest, my dad. And I knew nothing about Chicago until I got drafted to come here. I felt a lot of the fans and the people took to me, not because I was a good soccer player, it was because I was hard and, and, I, and I didn't show quit. We lost games, we lost important games. And the fans still liked you because you, you gave everything you, 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 you had. And now living here for some odd years, it's really hot in the summer. It's really <laughs> cold in the winter. And Everybody figures out how to get the job done. That to me is the hard-nosed mentality. It's the blue-collar mentality, and that's the way I grow up. I grew up, and I just say, "Hey, Chicago adopted me." I think they liked what I, I gave to them on the field, and for me now, I feel like I am a part of Chicago. I mean, I I think it's super important. Just to get the inclusivity from all different sectors of the city. Um, Cause there's a lot of talent out there and there's a lot of people who aren't getting opportunities or even getting the idea to play the sport. Once they start to see that it's possible and start to see people from the city succeeding, the mentality will start to shift. It won't be, 
oh, soccer, like that other sport, it's, it's something that's actually possible and it's something that like, that all of these kids actually will desire. Those, these neighborhoods don't recognize soccer as an opportunity as you would see basketball, football. So I think with common goal at trying to narrow that gap a little bit, we're scratching the surface of what Chicago has to offer for talent. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see where it's going because there's nothing like this for us um, as, as kids. I was fortunate with my family um, and we were able to, to manage players like himself, myself. We'll, we can keep driving and pushing and working with common goals is just a start.